Hey everybody, I'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about my 2012 MacBook Pro overheating issues and how I fixed it. So in my last video I was sharing that I still use this laptop, it still works you know in 2022 and it works really good um, and I mentioned that it, it does get really hot and I have two of them here. I have one that I pretty much use and I end up giving this one to my wife or to the kids. This is kind of our streaming, just our other version. Same laptop, just different, right? But again, this one, it gets hot, but you can have it in your lap. It will get really warm and kind of uncomfortable, but this one gets hot. I mean, as soon as you turn it on, you log in, you start doing things, it's, it gets really hot, especially in the back, on the back left bar, or really just the whole bar across the screen. You can feel all the heat, and it's very uncomfortable, where I tend to leave this one only on a metal stand that I have from Amazon just to kind of try to get that heat off. This one can go on a table, it doesn't bother me, but again, I kind of put this on the stand during the daytime. So I'm gonna talk about what we did. So he recommended switching out the thermal paste, right? And when I really thought about it, these laptops are 2012s, it's 2022, it's 10 years old. So I went online and found this MX4 Arctic thermal paste. And again, all the links for everything I did is in the description, but I'll kind of share this with you guys. And it came with the paste, you know, it's kind of focusing there, the cap. It also came with a scraper to scrape off and scrape on, so that worked really good. And here's the tools that I use to open everything up. So I have this kit, and again, everything's in the description, but this kit here came in handy big time, and I'll explain in a minute. So it also has the, you know, the wrench, twist and everything with the magnetic Everything's magnetic. It has the Phillips and it has the T, T6, the T6 screw that I use to get this done. I also have my magnetic board that I use. I love this one. I bought another one before this and it was not magnetic enough. So let's dive into the what happened here. So there's a link with instructions in the video how to get this done. That video is not identical to this laptop, but I left it there just because it's short, it's fast. It's to the point, and when you watch it, you'll see everything you need to see to get this done. So from a very high level, you're just going to come on, take you know the one, the two, the three, take the fan off. Be careful with the plug. You're going to peel it off. Again, one, two, and three. And there's the, the plug. Peel it off. You're going to pull this out. You're going to pop this. You're going to pull this out. This little ribbon here, it's hard to see, but there's a little ribbon that feeds in here. You're going to pull that out as well. Back, it sits on the, the keyboard. This comes out, this comes out, this comes out. Uh, here's the power. So you want to probably pull this out first, which you, if you already started, it doesn't matter because I started before this too. But now I know better. You want to just pop this off. When you take this off, I'm going to give you a warning. So taking everything apart was super easy for this section. Putting it back together, there's a like a clip on plug and there's a ribbon this ribbon so i did the first laptop took my time knocked it all out you know it was really patient because once you pull this up you flip it there's another cable that don't disconnect it you kind of and when you also you're going to lift it and pull it there's a plastic bar right here and it's going to get stuck on a screw so you kind of lift up and just wiggle and it'll just come off it'll come off but if you pull it this way or try to shift it You'll think one of these two screws, you'll think one of these screws is holding it in place, but it's not. It's the plastic bar. And again, there are more screws. So here's the actual motherboard. Here's a screw here. There's one under this ribbon, one I think right here. And they're all colored, but you can see them clear as day. They're, they're gold or bronze, but they're, they're on the board. And again, when you watch that video, you'll see them. It's not hard to do. You'll have it all taken apart in 10 minutes. It's very quick and easy. Um, but, you know, once you get it, you lift it up, you flip it over. You'll take off the heat sink or, you know, what all, where the pieces are. You'll scrape off the material, get a napkin, get some alcohol, wipe all that off really clear. Put a thin pea drop and even that, right? Go on other videos and look at how to add thermal paste. You don't want to put too much and you don't want to put too little. It's really just, it's a thin layer. So don't get aggressive. Don't try to paint the whole thing and smush it on there. You're just going to cause problems. So take your time, look it up. So again, here's the part that I ran into trouble. I finished all that, that was easy, put it back together, perfect. Now it's time to start putting all the connectors back on. This ribbon that feeds right here on this laptop, when I went to pull it in, I, I have big hands. So whatever happened, it bent and it crimped. So this laptop, 
I sat for maybe, I mean, this one, the first one took probably an hour just because I was taking my time being, being safe. This guy took me two, maybe three hours just looking for tools. Like, how can I get this stupid cable on? I ended up using, you know, I tried needle nose pliers, but they're too big to fit in here. I ended up using this tool kit has this piece here and these tongs, these little crimp are perfect. So I just grabbed the hole, slid one side in, I held it with my finger. So the other side held it and just kept holding it and sliding it in by in, side by side. You know, it doesn't take that long. Just, I couldn't think what tool to use. That's why it took me so long, but now you know how to do it. Cause I'm telling you, so you should get a lot faster, a lot easier. Uh, it's a piece of cake. And once you turn it back on, you will notice the laptop. It does get warm. I mean, it was way cooler than what it was before, but it is an Intel. This is a Mac running on an Intel processor and these things just get hot. I have a brand new, what, 2019, 2020, what have you, uh, that I have for work and that thing gets hot. I hear the fans coming on all the time. So again, it's not going to blow you away or, or you know, or, or it's, but it is going to make a difference. You will notice it's cooler. It runs quieter. This whole back area doesn't get as hot anymore. And, and it's, it's, it's really worth doing in my opinion. So thank you to the commenter. Uh, his name was Silver Hinky. So if you're watching this, thank you, brother. I really appreciate your help. I hope this helps somebody else. Um, again, I would say if you build things often, this is pretty easy to do. Just take your time because we all know Apple likes to use different screws. So the Phillips was a screw to get the case off. And then, you know, the T6 or T5, it's T6. The T6 covered everything else inside. You kind of switch back and forth between these two. But, I mean, it's a piece of cake with a magnetic screwdriver. Um, these little guys here are very, very tiny. So make sure you have magnetic heads. And you won't rinse any problems. Um, but that's it. You know, the cooling is a lot better, and I'm happy. Thanks for watching. Bye.